Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we don't have a rational expression. We also don't have a quadratic expression because it's really when we multiply out the left side it's x to the third power. It's just a special case. Now we don't have a denominator so we don't have to worry about values that x cannot be because there's no way to make the denominator equal to zero. Basically it's all over one. Which means we only need to worry about the numerator and we can find the critical points by realizing which, ones of, which value for x will make each one of these binomials equal to zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the inequality and turn it into an equation. So x minus 3, x plus 3, x minus 1 equal to zero. And now we're looking for all the values that will make this a true statement. So here when x equals 3 or when x equals negative 3 or when x equals 1. For these three values of x that will make the left side equal to the right side, it'll make the equation equal to 0. And those become then our critical points. So let's put those on the number line. And let's find the critical points on the number line. So we have 3, negative 3, and 1. So that's negative 3, 1, and 3. So positive 1, positive 3, and negative 3. But notice we don't just have greater than 0, we have greater than or equal to 0, which means in this case the endpoints are included, so we should make them solid circles. So the endpoints will be included, and now we realize that we have four regions. Region number 1, region number 2, region number 3, and region number 4. So we need a test point in each of the regions to see if those values within each region satisfy the inequality. So we're going to take region number 1 and we're going to let x equal a value in that region. How about negative 4? Okay, I'm going to rewrite the inequality over here. We have x minus 3 times x plus 3 times x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. And now I'm going to find by plugging in the value of x equals negative 4 in each of these three binomials to see if those binomials will be positive or negative. If x equals negative 4, negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7, that's a negative value. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, that's a negative value. And negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5, that's a negative value. So we have a negative number times a negative number times a negative number. That gives us a negative number for the whole expression. And a negative number cannot be bigger than 0. So the answer is, nope, region 1 does not satisfy the inequality. So region 1 is not part of our solution. So we just put a big X over that. Okay, we get rid of these signs. And now we do it again for, with a number out of region number 2. So for region number 2, we're going to let x equal a number in between. And since 0 is in between 1 and negative 3, right, side, right inside region number 2, that's always easy. We'll let x equal 0. Well, if x equals 0, 0 minus 3 is still a negative number. 0 plus 3 is a positive number and 0 minus 1 is a negative number. A negative times a negative will give me a positive, therefore the whole expression is positive, and of course a positive expression will be greater than 0, which means that region, the numbers in there, do satisfy the inequality. So I'll put a little check mark on it saying region number 2 satisfies inequality. Alright, let's get rid of the signs. And now we try region number 3. And we're going to let x equal a number inside that region. How about the number 2? And then we plug the number 2 in for x, and we'll see what each binomial will become in terms of sign. A 2 minus 3, well, negative 3 plus 2, that's a negative 1, that's a negative number. A 2 plus 3, that's 5, that's a positive number, and 2 minus 1, that's still a positive number. We only have one negative, two positives, but when we we'll multiply them all out, the whole thing will be negative, and negative cannot be bigger than zero. So therefore, that does not satisfy the inequality. The answer is no. And so this region does not, is not included in the solution set. Finally, region number four. We're going to let x equal a number in that region. How about the number four? 
Let me get rid of all the signs. Okay, if x is 4, 4 minus 3, that's 1, that's a positive number. 4 plus 3 is 7, that's a positive number. 4 minus 1 is 3, that's a positive number. Since everything is positive, when I multiply, I get a positive result. The whole thing will be positive, and positive is definitely bigger than 0, which means that region number 4 is part of the solution set. We can say yes here. And now we found that two of the four regions do satisfy the inequality. The region right here and the region over here all the way out to positive infinity. So we can write this mathematically as the section from minus 3 all the way to 1. Notice I use brackets because it does include the endpoints and from 3 all the way to infinity. We use parentheses there of course because infinity is not a real number, doesn't exist, so we cannot have that as an endpoint but at least all the way out to infinity, from 3 to infinity, including 3, and from negative 3 to 1, including negative 3 and 1, are all part of the solution set of this particular inequality, and that is how it's done.